Everyone, welcome back to the show. This is take two of the <laughs> opening of this video. <clears throat> Dogs on set. We also have whiskey on set. Whiskey, because today's is Japanese. Mm. Japanese, I think, is how you would say that in some, some languages, right? Japanese. Japanese. <laughs> okay. I believe that's how you say it. This is Hato Zaki. Um, and they have a couple different varieties. They have the baseline, and then they have this one. This is the small batch. Okay. This is the good stuff. Okay. This is the good stuff here. This is actually a gift from Jeff at RDR um, Gear, um, believe it or not. This That's is funny. A, I was thinking we should call Jeff and ask him how to know, pronounce that. This was a, a birthday gift. We will pass this on for safekeeping. Um, but just so you know. That's the whiskey recommendation for today's video, but today's video is on more important things. Well, actually it's not. Um, that's important, but another important thing, yeah. which would be an optic. So this is a Hollow Sun 507C with a primary arms ACSS reticle. And it's interesting. We're gonna talk about it because yeah. this is one of the things that, you know, I, I was a little leery going into this. We'll break it down. A couple quick plugs, 1911 Syndicate. If you need real estate help, we always have it linked below. We keep this pitch very short. If you would like to learn about our real estate business, go click on the fucking link, everyone. Um, Patreon, if you're feeling generous, if you like to kick us a couple bucks, it's like tipping your waiter at Red Lobster. Yeah. Um, that's uh, also an option. Shoot nine mil from this, supplied by US Brass House. Use our two codes for them to get a discount on a case of ammo. Uh, we've been really happy with their ammo. It shoots great, it's fairly clean, doesn't smell. So. Good ammo, man. Do a lot of your ammo, you have a lot of scent issues with So I ammo? used to not, I, I didn't think that was a factor in ammo. And I was shooting with a buddy the other day and he's like, dude, that ammo doesn't smell. And I'm like, smell. And then he was shooting and I was like, dude, your ammo stinks. That doesn't. I it's think... a, pay attention next time you shoot. It's a weird little tidbit. Oh, it's definitely weird. Yeah. It's definitely weird. I totally agree. So the um, relationship with Hollow Sun and Primary Arms, um, we actually did a Primary Arms video I don't know, a couple months ago, ironically, in this exact same spot. Um, and Primary Arms reached out after that. And um, anyway, they sent in this optic. It's kind of a fun thing to play with. I'd been intrigued by it for, for a little bit. So um, optic came from them, and uh, there you go. So it's a collab between the two brands. Yep. Would you mind hanging yeah, on I got to you. that as I pull out the notes, as we do? <clears throat> so what is it? So it's a, it is a hollow sun like ultimately it's a 507 c and it has the acss vulcan reticle so collab between the two companies it's sold by primary arms and on their site last i checked 320 bucks good price um so yeah in case you're looking for it that's where i would go get it cool you look like you were about to like whisper no i up. lost my balance a little bit and i had to like okay. correct like yeah, you got a little too that. close for comfort yeah for, sorry about for that me on that um so look, we're not gonna do a review on a 507. You can go watch plenty of other stuff, including stuff from us on that, but I will just tell you, it's got all the standard stuff. It's got the solar fail safe, so it's got little solar panels on top. Side loading battery compartment, which is a giant perk of, of, of the Hollow Suns, in my opinion. Um, shake awake, all that kind of stuff, right? And uh, multiple reticles, we'll talk a little bit about that because it's a little bit different here. But the ACSS version is designed designed to solve or at least present a solution to a very common problem that people who are not only new but people in general to red dots have which would be what's the most common issue finding that dot finding the damn dot yep right because it's like it happens all the time especially when you're newer to pistol red dot you present and you're like ah you're going on. there it is yep. okay and that's exactly how the reticle is designed to give you immediate feedback on that and it's pretty interesting. So basically what you've got, we'll show you a, a photo of, of, of how the reticle looks here, but mm -hmm. you have a chevron, right? So you have that, right? You've got a chevron and then around that chevron is a giant ring, okay? So it's a giant ring that goes around the whole reticle. There is a slight uh, gap where the ring does not connect all the way at the bottom. If you happen to get one of these and you're like, what's up with that? It's normal, it's how it's Do your triangle again with your fingers? It looks like this. Yes. And then it goes all the way down here too. Yeah, I guess it'd be like that. Yeah. yeah. And um, and that's kind of how it looks. Nice demo there. Nice. That's good. That visual, <laughs> I think that visual really saved the video right there. <laughs> that should be on their ads right there. Um, so here's the deal. On a perfect presentation, if you perfectly present the gun, you will not see the ring at all. All you're gonna see is the chevron, the actual reticle that you have to work with. 
If you do not perfectly present it, you are going to catch feedback in the form of an outer that, that outer ring. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you you can kind of mimic this, but like if you do what is very common, which is people, it's very common that you present your dot is high and Scott Jedlinski talks about this modern samurai project, a little bit of pinky pressure drops that dot down, mm -hmm. right? Implying, <clears throat> hey, your dot's high. So if you if you present it, I'm gonna exaggerate it, right? And your dot was high, right? What you're gonna see is this ring down here is gonna show in your glass. That ring is indicating, hey, your dot's up here, dude. So if you bring that ring down, your chevron's gonna come back into yep. the window. Same thing if you're left, right, high, up, down, like whatever it is. Like if your chevron is over here and you present, cool, you're gonna catch outer ring here. So you're gonna have immediate feedback going, cool, I know exactly where my chevron is, bring the gun back center. Yep. Yeah. And whether you love or hate the concept of it, you have to admit, well, that's quite clever and innovative. I think so. Like, I, th I thought it was very gimmicky. I'm like, okay. Uh huh. And yeah. And then we it, shot the drill. 100%. Yeah. It, it, yeah it, it, and we'll, we'll go into that, right? So you can run it, and this was something I actually didn't even know until somewhat recently. You can run it with or without the ring on. Mm. So if you hold the minus button, the ring's going to shut down, and now you just have the chevron. So if you, mm. let's say, use this as a training aid when you're first getting going on pistol red dots, and you're getting that feedback, and you're like, hey, I'm, I'm getting pretty good, I'm competent, I've got a good draw stroke now, then cool, turn the ring off. One of the advantages slash disadvantages of having the ring on is it's going to reduce battery life. With the ring on, a lot more illumination yeah. that's, that's happening, right? Like yeah. the optics having to work yeah, a lot harder. Yeah, ring off, reduced battery life. Well, the ring... Turn, turning the outer ring off is going to increase your battery life. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. If you want the ring on, of course, that's going to reduce your battery life because you just have a lot more illumination that's happening there. Yeah. Hey, that's not a problem. That's just a, it's just a fact of how it's a fucking battery how electronics works. work. That's how so. electronics work, everybody. Welcome to the Science Channel. So the Chevron, I found kind of interesting, actually also yeah. serves as a BDC, bullet drop compensator, everyone. Um, so on 9 mil you zero that at 25 yards. Okay. Okay. So, and, and there's always debate, do I do a 10 or 25? The way the reticle is set up is for a 25. Okay. Okay. And all primary arm stuff is very um, thought through in terms of where you zero it and how that interacts with your reticle and your BDC. Yeah. So it's designed to be zeroed at 25. So at 25, the tip of the chevron is like your is, is your impact point. Point of aim, point yeah, of impact. Yeah, point of aim, point of impact is, is the tip of that chevron. Um, just below the tip um, is going to be your hold at 50, and then the bottom of the chevron would be your hold at 100. So the bottom of the triangle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So like, the, I mean, t yeah, the bottom. It'd be right here. That'd be your hold at 100. Okay. Yep. Is that, I, hope, I hope the illustrations here are helping everyone. So that's how the Chevron would work. Again, clever. 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 Like, am I worried about what my holdover is on a 9mm pistol at 100? No, I'm not. I don't care because I'm not going to shoot it at 100 outside of like plinking around and having fun as a combat. Zombie situation. apocalypse. Yeah, that's when you get a rifle. Uh, fair know? point. You know, zombie from me to you. Yeah, I just dump you in your pelvic and you just go down, right? No, you got to shoot him in the head. I'm talking about you. I'm talking oh. about you attack me in the apocalypse. Sorry, I thought you meant yeah, yeah, yeah. zombies. No, Stuck not even zombies. zombie you. Just like you right now, you're unmet, you lose it. I'm just <laughs> pelvic. Pelvic, <laughs> down you go. Right? Just going to crush that. Just some thoughts. I would like to see, about the only real constructive criticism I could give, is I would like to see the same concept, but just with a red dot with the ring. Like, yeah, give me a version to buy this where I'm like, I don't need the chevron. Yeah. Um, the chevron's cool, especially when it comes to holdovers and stuff. But truthfully, I'd like to just have a red dot with the ability with the to turn the ring on or off. Yeah. That's what I would love. Because then I could just run a straight up red dot versus a reticle. Yeah. And then ring or no ring. Like, that, that would be kind of my ideal scenario. This is very cool. Don't get me wrong. I, I actually have, frankly, very positive... You know, primary arms is two for two on the channel right now. Two for two. On that SLX, I think yep. they nailed it. I was shooting one today. The Cyclops, right? Uh, I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Isn't that what it's called? Cyclops SLX or something like that? I think. I don't know. If I Sorry, know. guys. Yeah. We're it's good, idiots. We did, we did a video on it. You guys can check that out if you want. But um, so when I first got it, I, I will concede 
just you know around the house you get a new pistol in you're presenting it and kind of seeing what you think i didn't find it particularly helpful in a dry fire type scenario i was just like okay where it started to come alive for me and started to make sense was i went to the range with uh uh mr farrington there behind the christian yeah christian i'd like to keep my last name private yeah well too late for that you can bleep it we can Pretty also sure it's on your instagram we can also it? blur out your face like you're an operator <laughs> Wear a shamog all the time. So I went shooting with him at uh, TNT range in Salt Lake, good range if you're ever in town, check it out. And um, it started to really make sense to me under a stress shoot. And we did the same drill today right. with yeah. you. I put you uh, behind the driver's seat of this and essentially you start chasing rounds, right? Yeah. So it's like, hey, wherever I shoot, you've got to present and try to stack a round on top of it. Yeah. And so you're just going, my round goes off, boom, boom. Boom. And, and under that climate, I really started to enjoy this thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, you can say whatever you want. Like, be honest. Like, yeah. I don't... Well, so my first thought on, I was like, dude, the way that that would be a big help is on weird angles, much like a VTAC barricade. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to the bottom three holes. You're sideways. You're canted. Oh, shit. I see the ring up here. I need to go down to the right. My yeah. reticle, land your shot. Now, having said that, I didn't think about it in that drill that we did. Mm-hmm. During that drill, I was like, dude, this is, this thing is money. Because I would look at your shot in my field of view, see the ring as I'm putting pressure on the trigger, mm -hmm. find the reticle, knowing I need to go, oh, down and to the left. It's real-time feedback. Real-time feedback. Yeah. It, pretty it, cool. It, it, it is pretty cool. And so, like, I, I've actually become quite fond of this. What One of the areas that I think it will shine where it might have some use for you guys is there, there's a lot of guys who just go... I love the idea of red dots, but it's just like making the transition over scares me. The learning curve is steep. Yeah, it's pretty steep. Yep. It's pretty steep. So. And I think <laughs> this is a nice aid um, to be able to pick it up a little quicker. And, and again, as you start getting more confident, turn the ring off if you don't want yeah. it. Like, no big deal. Yeah. Like, I can tell you, you might think that the Chevron is going to lead to some, um, hey, it's fast, but it's not necessarily going to be super accurate. Not my experience. Because again, we're shooting dots today yeah bullet holes yeah like we're our target is the size of a nine millimeter round yeah and you go you get pretty good with it so you're like look it's not inaccurate just because it's a bigger reticle correct it's actually pretty damn precise still well and even like that then the argument would go one moa three and a quarter mo or three and a half moa and six moa dots on like a standard red dot mm -hmm. well then you know guys like different MOAs for different applications. So that even dispels that, right? Like, I think that that Chevron actually is pretty cool. And, and consider this too, because here's kind of how I've been looking at it. So a dot, if you've got astigmatism, right? Um, Which I do. It, it, as do I. So when I look at just a dot, I basically see a star. I don't see a precise dot. Okay. And so when I look at this, I can see a tip. I can see just the, the tip. The, oh, I see the tip. Just the tip. 100%, yeah. right? I see the the you know the 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 base right the 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 rods Shaft that are coming the, up yeah. but I see the tip and I go even with astigmatism like I see that tip so I do know where my my uh, point of aim point of impact is mm -hmm. right so I think that's pretty cool so kind of look my my thoughts on this is hey should you just get good at doing perfect presentations and getting your dot yeah of course you should but what's the downside to having an aid to learn that there's not because I would say I, I couldn't get on board with red dots. And then I took a red dot class mm -hmm. and was like, this this is the way. It makes you know? sense. Use a red dot class or an instructor or on your own dry fire with that in conjunction. That learning curve decreases drastically. Yeah. Think about it like this too. No one's that direction, everyone. So everyone freak out. I yeah. know angles look weird behind the camera. Know that we're all cool right now. Um, so also under recoil, right? So under recoil, when this is, let's say, going up and to the right, again, I'm getting that feedback from the ring, here. Yeah. right? Knowing exactly where my chevron is, right? Or if, you're, or if you're going up that way or wherever it is. So you will be able to track your dot under recoil a lot better. I would also make the case, disclaimer, never been in a shooting, hope I never am. Same. But I would imagine that under an adrenaline dump of another human being trying to end my life, and now I'm trying to get a perfect presentation on my dot, I'm probably gonna fuck it up if you wanna know the truth. In which case, like, sure, you could use your back plate or the whole dot or whatever, but it's like, hey, wouldn't in that moment you like to have some feedback to potentially be able to calculate and make that real time adjustment? Maybe just a little edge. And in a situation like that, a little edge might be the difference. So <laughs> I, I agree. So I'm a I, fan. It's one of those where it's like, look, I honestly thought 
this is going to kind of be gimmicky and Same. a little bit cheesy. Same. And uh, I'm I'm quite pleasantly surprised. Yeah. It's it's pretty damn cool. Yep. You know, and at 320 bucks, again, like I don't know. I think it's I think it's well priced. It's yep. You know, I've had a bunch of hollow suns. Like they've been solid. So. Yeah. Check it out. Um, you know, smaller product that we're reviewing today, but one that I do think you guys will probably get some value out of. So yeah. there you go. Cool. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time. Appreciate it.